Good evening and welcome to our service of Compline on this Monday, August 10th. I am David Lehman, the Bishop of Caledonia, and I am on the traditional and unceded territory of the Shimshan people. I'm at home, for which I am most thankful to be, and thankful for traveling mercies over what was a full weekend. And time for a nap this afternoon. Most appreciated. Last night, on Sundays, I typically share a book, and uh, it's a bit of a turnip head, and I, lost, I left the, the, the book behind, and it's actually an electronic book, so it's on the Kindle. Uh, so I meant to bring this piece of paper with me that says, The Waters of Silo uh, by Thomas Burton. As, um, so I was sort of looking down the road, um, uh, moving into Prince Rupert to share the deanery with the, the dean and talking about um, having an intentional community and being intentional in prayer and, and, and what that looks like for our journey. Uh, I was wanting to read up on some monasticism and this was a book that came highly recommended. Uh, I was thumbing through it or uh, sort of flipping through it on the Kindle and was amazed at the life of, uh, of a monk. You get up at 2 a.m. and you start your prayer then and you're tucked into bed by 7 p.m. And I was thinking, no matter how you slice it, that's a long day. And um, starting at 2 a.m., wow. Um, so I'm looking forward to reading that book. And, um, and it's my offering just to, if you're thinking of, gee, what, would, what is monastic life like? This follows uh, the Cistercians and uh, looks into the, the life of a monk. So I offer you that this evening or this week as uh, one of the things I'm looking at as I read up these days. Our worship uh, at the end of a day allows us to come before God and lay at God's feet all of our prayers and concerns, our anxieties, our wishes, and to know that they are in God's hand as we take our rest. So it's an opportunity for us to offer up our thanksgivings for the blessings that we have seen this day. And so as we come into a time of worship, let us be still, collect ourselves, and know that we are in the presence of a loving, gracious God. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Our psalm for this evening, as we are going to mark the eve of uh, St. Clair of Assisi, is on this, uh, Psalm 63, found on page 405. Psalm 63, page 405. We shall say verses 1 through 9 together. Psalm 63, page 405, verses 1 to 9. O God, thou art my God, early will I seek thee. My soul thirsteth for thee, my flesh also longeth after thee, in a barren and dry land where there is no water. Thus have I looked upon thee in the sanctuary, that I might behold thy power and glory. For thy loving kindness is better than life itself. My lips shall praise thee. As long as I live, will I magnify thee in this manner, and lift up my hands in thy name. My soul shall be satisfied even as it were with marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall praise thee with joyful lips. When I remember thee upon my bed, I meditate upon thee in the night watches, because thou hast been my helper, and under the shadow of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul cleaveth unto thee, thy right hand upholdeth me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our reading this evening comes from the Gospel of Luke, beginning in the 
12th chapter at the 32nd verse. Jesus said, Do not be afraid, little flock, for it is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Sell your possessions and give alms. Make purses for yourselves that do not wear out, an unfailing treasure in heaven, where no thief comes near and no moth destroys. For where your treasure is, your heart there will be also. Be dressed for action and have your lamps lit. Be like those who are waiting for their master return from the wedding banquet, so they may open the door for him as soon as he comes and knocks. Blessed are those slaves whom the master finds alert when he comes. Truly I tell you, he will fasten his belt and come and serve them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A very fitting reading for for Claire of Assisi, who, having heard St. Francis give a sermon, she gave up considerable wealth to go and serve uh, the poor and the needy. An incredible response to God's mercy in her life. Our worship continues on page 723. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For thou hast redeemed me, O Lord, thou God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. We say together the Te Luctus Ante Terminum. Before the ending of the day, creator of the world, we pray, that with thy wonted favor thou wouldst be our guard and keeper now. From all ill dreams defend our eyes, from nightly fears and fantasize. Tread underfoot our ghostly foe, that no pollution we may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, thine only Son, who with the Holy Ghost and thee doth live and reign eternally. Amen. Keep us as the apple of an eye. Hide us under the shadow of thy wings. Preserve us, O Lord, waking, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. We say together the Nunc Dimittis. Lord, now let us thou thy servant depart in peace, according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Preserve us, O Lord, waking, and guard us sleeping that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. We say together the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. In the language closest to our hearts, we pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Blessed art thou, Lord God of our ancestors, to be praised and glorified above all forever. 
Let us bless the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Let us praise him and magnify him forever. Blessed art thou, O Lord, in the firmament of heaven, to be praised and glorified above all forever. The Almighty and most merciful Lord guard us and give us his blessing. Amen. On the top of page 726, we say together, We confess to God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, that we have sinned in thought, word, and deed, through our own grievous fault. Wherefore, we pray God to have mercy upon us. Almighty God, have mercy upon us. Forgive us all our sins and deliver us from all evil. Confirm and strengthen us in all goodness and bring us to life everlasting. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant unto you pardon and remission of all your sins, time for amendment of life, and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Wilt thou not turn again and quicken us, that thy people may rejoice in thee? O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, and grant us thy salvation. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this night without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us, have mercy upon us. O Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come unto thee. And the collect for the eve of the, feast, the memorial of Clare of Assisi. O God, whose blessed Son became poor, so that through his poverty we might become rich. Deliver us, we pray, from any ordinate love of this world, that in honor of your holy servant Clare, we may serve you with, single heart, with sing, singleness of heart and attain to the riches of the world to come. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Lighten our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of thy only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the silent hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this fleeting world may repose upon thy eternal changelessness. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And we come to our time of specific prayer, so to speak, of those prayers and concerns and people who are on your hearts and minds this night. I invite you to bring them before God, either aloud, in your heart, or in the comments box, so that we may all join with you in prayer. We pray for all who are suffering from the coronavirus, over 130 cases in BC in the last three days, 50 some before that, and uh, the curve is no longer flat. And um, so we pray for those who are ill, for their recovery, and for those who have care of them, family and friends, for those who are at home, those who are in hospital, doctors, nurses, and all the medical staff there. We pray for all who are undergoing other medical treatments, procedures, uh, who are in the care of, of, uh, uh, in care of doctors and nurses, that they all may be brought to health and wholeness, and that all may be kept safe uh, from this virus. We pray this day for all who lead us, for those in municipal and First Nations uh, governments, for those in provincial, federal, for all the uh, health officers across this country and around the world, and for the difficult decisions that they are making, for the plans to uh, continue to reopen society and as we watch numbers go up and for wisdom as we do that and we pray that all may have the common good at the utmost highest in their decision making we pray for all in business and industry 
as things move along and last night I was moving behind some some rigs and knew, knew that things were going to Prince Rupert to ship out from there and um, and I'm thankful to have that companionship on the road last night um, uh, but you know thinking that uh, things are moving and so keeping um, people safe uh, uh, for our employees and customers for industries that have been retooling to meet other needs that we have at this time for wisdom and 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 insight into how we're shifting our 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 needs and our wants that we may have um, the needs met as best we can and you know the wants as as we're able to we pray for all those in education, thinking of those who are uh, looking at how schools reopen, how um, the grade school levels will will function, and, and, and how the higher levels will function with distant education, how post-secondary institutions will function completely online, how there will be a sense of community, how people's needs will be met. I was listening to a podcast yesterday about someone who was suffering from mental health issues from trauma early in their life and how this lockdown has made uh, their conditions so much worse. And it was encouraging to hear someone say they were very thankful for Prozac and for God leading people to, to create uh, such a drug and, and the stability that it brought for him and, and realizing that there are people who are truly suffering in the isolation and in the confinements that we have. And we're seeing that as people act out in different ways as well. So we pray for them and we pray that we too may be calm, kind and safe. And we pray for all who are struggling with anxiety and other mental health issues. For those for whom home is not a safe place, and, and uh, is a place of violence, that they may find ways to be safe and if they are ready to leave, to have the courage and, and um, support that they'll need in the transition away from such a uh, place. We pray for all who suffer from mental health issues, thinking of what happened in Red Deer uh, and the patient uh, uh, attacking the doctor um, and for whatever brought that on um, I cannot imagine that it, it could you know that there's ever a reason to do something like that so praying for the for all involved and for the trauma that people witnessed uh, there in that doc medical clinic but we pray for all who work in mental health that they'll have the resources that they need and, and the ability to self-care for themselves as we deal with a very stressed world right now. We pray that all may come to know the love and grace of Jesus and, and, and deepen a relationship with a loving and caring God. We pray for all who are hurt and wounded at this time and we join with those prayers that you're offering this night as we offer our intercession. Be mindful, Lord, of thy people gathered before thee. Care for the infants, guide the young, support the aged, encourage the faint-hearted, collect the scattered, bring the wandering to thy fold. Travel with the voyagers, defend the widows, shield the orphans, deliver the captives, heal the sick. Succor all who are in tribulation, necessity, anxiety, or distress. Remember for good all those that love us and those that hate us, and those that have desired us, unworthy as we are, to pray for them. And those whom we have forgotten, do thou, O Lord, remember. For thou art the helper of the helpless, the saviour of the lost, the refuge of the wanderer, the healer of the sick. Thou who knowest each one's need and hast heard the prayers, Grant unto each according to thy merciful loving kindness and thy eternal love, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 
and we offer up our thanksgivings for this day, those moments when we see the hand of God at work and to know that, uh, that the love of God surrounds us and is at work in this world and through the church. Today, I am thankful that I got home safely, of course, and that it was a little earlier than I had hoped, and uh, I was able to knock off earlier today and take a nap. Uh, all good things. But I'm also in some meetings this week with uh, the Council of the North and hearing stories that sadly we don't get to share, for reasons I don't quite understand, of the good work going on across this great country of ours and uh, in the remote parts of the church and remote parts of the provinces and territories. And it is exciting to hear of the faithfulness and the resiliency and the passion and the creativity that's going on. And I am thankful to be part of that process and to be able to hear these stories. And I can only say some great stuff's going on. And thanks be to God. So I encourage you to offer up that for what you're thankful for this day as we offer a thanksgiving to God. O most merciful Father, we humbly thank thee for all thy gifts so freely bestowed upon us, for life and health and safety, for power to work and leisure to rest, for all that is beautiful in creation and in the lives of men and women, we praise and magnify thy holy name. But above all, we thank thee for our spiritual mercies in Christ Jesus our Lord, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. Fill our hearts with all joy and peace and believing through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We continue on the bottom of page 727. We will lay, lay us down in peace and take our rest. For it is thou, Lord, only that makest us dwell in safety. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you this night and indeed forevermore. Amen. I pray that you have a most restful night and that in the morning, as you're able to join us at 8 a.m. Pacific time uh, for morning prayer from St. Mark's in Dawson Creek with Pastor Don at 12.15 tomorrow is Tuesday. So I'm not sure if it's going to be Matthew McPhee, our summer intern, or if it's the dean. I, sh I, was, I logged in to catch it today, but um, Facebook and I were having issues, and it kept repeating the same first 20 seconds of, of the uh, service, and I couldn't figure out how to get it to reset. Um, so I didn't hear if, if it's uh, the dean or um, uh, our summer student, Matthew, uh, taking midday prayer at 12.15 tomorrow, but there'll be that. God willing, I'll be back at 9 o'clock tomorrow night to join you for Compline again and to have a time of prayer. May God richly uh, bless you and keep you. Until we meet again, nighty-night. <laughs>